welcome back to another episode of the Roof Repair Special. This is Elvis from Roofdeal.ca and I'm here in Mississauga addressing the skylight issue. Um, I know a lot of you guys at home have this very problem and I'm going to show you right now how to fix it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to remove the shingles all the way around the skylight on the sides, at least two feet out on both sides and at least a foot and a half high on top and bottom. We're going to remove the skylight by taking all the screws out on the top like so, okay? We're going to get this as clean as we can and what we're going to do is ice and water this starting at the bottom then doing the sides and capping it at the top but that's the tricky part for some of you guys so stay tuned and i'm going to take you through that uh, we'll see you in a few okay so welcome back you can see that we've got this cleaned and prepped ready for the ice and water uh, just a little note i noticed you can see how little of an edge that there is here so what we did just for an extra precaution is we, we cut a piece of ice and water just to run and cover all the nail holes that were here, okay? Now well, I'm going to take you guys through the interlocking of the ice and water because it's key. You just don't put ice and water around a skylight and it stops leaking. The key is, is to interlock the pieces together like I'm going to show you. So uh, here we've cut a piece all ready to go. And basically what we've done is we've rested it up against the top like so, so that it so that it dry it, it it goes up on the lip, and then we've cut on a 45 here. You see how there's a 45 there? Okay. So what I'm going to do now is put this ice and water in play here. Wow, it is sticky. Be really careful with this. I mean. You can ruin it pretty easily just because it's so sticky. If I were to cut straight right here, I wouldn't be overlapping this. That's why we're going to interlock. So what we do is we cut this right here like that. You see how now that folds over that? Just like so. Now basically we put the bottom on first. We interlock the sides. And then what we do is we interlock the top on top of the sides. That's why, you know, it, it's not just putting ice and water around the skylight. It has to be interlocked together. Okay. That's how you guys do it. Stay tuned and uh, we'll take you through the rest of the progress here. Okay, so welcome back. You can see now that we've got this ice and water, we're all locked in from the top. See how this overlaps the side? Exactly the same as how the sides will overlap the bottom. Okay, now we've started to put it in. You can see that we're putting step flashing in here as well. Making a self flashing kit for this particular chimney that has one already. There's lots of holes in it and it's old, so we're just going to beef it up a little bit like this by using some step flashing and uh, cutting them in place there just like that, okay? But uh, I think you guys get the gist of it. If this is something you're tapping yourself at home, other than that, stay tuned. We'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, so here you guys have it. This is the finished product. Now uh, you can see that we've got these step flashing all the way around the skylight now, which is uh, a little bit of overkill, but better safe than sorry okay uh, but here hopefully this guy's will help you uh, help you guys at home to deal with your sort of issues or uh, ensure that your contractor is at least doing it right and there you have it okay so we'd like to thank you for cluing into another episode of the roof repair special this is Elvis and the crew from RoofTuneUp.ca we'll see you next time